This year is the 20th anniversary of IOC. We have among us many different kinds of organizations are important to land. We have research institutions, we have uh, indigenous people's organizations, farmers' organizations, we have uh, more international organizations within our network. And how do we work in a way which takes advantage of that full diversity, the social movements among us? This is a meeting too. Look ahead. Uh, ILC, which is International Land Coalition, is a co collaborative platform of different uh, stakeholders uh, working together for land governance. So ILC over the next six years exists to help its members to connect, to mobilize uh, and to influence. Now, this strategy is more focused than the previous one in that it also um, takes advantage of uh, commitments our members made to 10 changes in land governance that they would like to see. We are really committed to this uh, commitment number one, secure tenure rights. We are really committed to this commitment number one, secure tenure Without land there is no small farming. My commitment is to work for establishing equal land rights for women. My commitment is equal land rights for women. For indigenous peoples, which is commitment five, we need collective action on the ground to secure land rights for indigenous peoples and local communities. I am supporting Kamintan seek locally managed ecosystems to work for inclusive decision making. So we make sure that the interests and the voices of farmers are brought to the national level, to the regional level, up to the global level. And I am uh, supporting the commitment, this transparent and accessible information. That is where we say we will oppose land grab without free prior informed consent. We want to ensure that all human rights defenders all those who are fighting for people's rights, indigenous peoples, they must be defended and protected and there should be laws and international treaties to protect the land rights defenders.